Okay, hello everyone and uh, welcome to this update video. Um, I received a lot of complaints from uh, people over this video that uh, Web Matrix is no longer available uh, and can no longer be installed through the Web Platform Installer because Windows has discontinued it. Um, however, I do have some good news. I've updated it. So just scroll down and uh, you will see that I've updated it right here. And luckily for all of you, I still have the uh, download for it. So literally what you have to do is copy this link. Now keep in mind, if you just copy this, it will not work because it is a FTP and not a HTTP. So if you look at it here, it will say HTTPS right there and you will need FTP right there. So just copy all of that, go to a new paste and paste it. And then you will see the installation pack and web matrix. Now I have already downloaded it here, but just for the sake of this video, I will just open it up like here so you can see it. This is what you get. And this is the original installation for it. And since I already have it installed, it will probably prompt me with repair. So we can do repair and repair it. And that is the original uh, web matrix that I have on my own server as well. We can close this for now. And uh, there we go. Setup was complete. And now we have web matrix right there. And you're welcome. <laughs> like it took me forever to find it because it's like I said, it's no longer supported uh, on. Uh, just, uh, but you can see like it opens up and whatnot. So there you have it. We have Web Matrix, and uh, it works perfectly fine. So that's literally what you get. And these are from the original uh, installation, as I mentioned before. So, as I mentioned before, it is no longer being supported. And uh, I still had the original installation, as you can see, 8, 10, uh, 20, uh, 20 is when I downloaded it from my server. And uh, unfortunately, I cannot show you the uh, exact details. I can go here and show you through uh, through my local. So um, I literally have to go through the entire thing. So it was user and then this one, app data uh, local. And then it was Microsoft. And then I need to find platform installer. Platform installer. And then uh, let's see, installations. And you can literally see that uh, the matrix is right there. And that's literally from the uh, from the installation that I've done on my server a while back. So if there are any more stuff that you guys need, I still have the original installations of uh, everything that you need to get it up and running. So let me know in the comments if you're missing something. Like I literally have everything here. Uh, so yeah, as I mentioned before, I can uh, still get the original stuff so you're extremely lucky that i still had the original installation because you can no longer download it so yeah there you go so i hope this video was uh, helpful to you guys leave a like if you want to uh feel free to leave a comment if you wish and uh, yeah so that's the updated version now i don't know if it will uh, still have an issue with the installation but um yeah, you can use this video as a reference that uh, you just need to place it in that folder. So let me go back. So it's under app data and then local. 
Then you search for web platform installer right here. And then you go to installations and then you literally just copy paste that folder in here. And um, it should automatically install it as well. But I already have it downloaded. So, uh, but yeah, as I mentioned before, it, it's there and you can use it if you want to. So there you have it. So thank you guys for watching and uh, see you guys later.